Good morning! It's 5.30. I've been up since 3.45 because I am so excited to play with my new toys. Um, and I have a few million projects to do today. We'll see if I can get them done. One of the things that I wanted to do today is I have all of these round, they're hard to see because they blend into the ground. But I have these round things that I found over there in the barn. And I want to take most of them apart, um, hopefully find more uh, of this material. But I'm going to build a compost pile with one of these intact in the middle, so it's a donut shape. Um, and I'm going to leave one end where it's easy to open it so I can turn it. There. Constructed. And right here, all I have to do is squeeze with my hands and it'll come apart. But the weight of it should keep it closed. And then in the center I have a ventilation tube. So I'm going to start filling it. One of the things that I got yesterday was a new cart. And it's just a mesh cart with a thousand pound load capacity and it has a swivel handle that I can hook with a bolt to my mower to drag around. I lined it with tarp because today I'm going to use it for leaves, grass clippings, and dirt. Um, but if I were just uh, carrying around hay or um, straw, then I wouldn't need the tarp. But it's pretty handy, much larger, probably two, three times as large as my old trusty cart over there. That thing has served me so well. But, on to bigger and better things. I've got a pretty good layer of leaves in, and now it's time for the dirt. While we're on the subject of dirt, I got a three-way meter, and it measures the pH, whether it's acidic, alkaline, it measures the light, and it measures whether it's dry or wet. And I stuck it in the dirt, um, and I left it overnight just to be sure, because I'm not sure how these work, or how well they work. Um, but this is the dirt from the forest, and I have my herbs planted in it. I don't remember which herb. Chamomile, chamomile, whatever. Anyway, the uh, meter is reading at... 7.5 thereabouts. Now, I don't know. Let's change it to... Yep, it moved. That's the moisture. It's at 3. Um, and then light. It's at 1.5 because it's just no morning. So that's a pretty neat little gadget. It might help me quite a bit. But... Um, it also came with a chart that describes what happens when your soil has too much alkaline or is too acidic. There was once a special place in my heart for my tiny little cart. But that feeling went away whenever I filled this with dirt. Man, this is going to save me so much time. Well, that's looking pretty good. Almost like a chocolate donut. But it's awfully brown, so let's try to add some color. Maybe some kitchen scraps. Well, that was exciting. Probably need more color than that. Maybe some grass. Grass would be great, but I still have leftover dirt. What am I going to do? Trusty Dusty Cart! He came in handy after all. Got my very own crop circle. All the green that was there is now... Oh. There. Now I've watered everything. I've got a little bit of dirt and trusty dusty old cart and I'm going to sprinkle in there and water it. And then I'm going to leave it this way until June whenever I start getting my animals. I'm so excited. We plan on getting rabbits and goats and chickens to start with. But then I'll start adding their poop and straw and whatever else in there. And that'll get it good and fertile. Oh, the radishes came up today.
Yay, food. I don't like radishes, but Ricky does. And animals do, I'm sure. Whenever I planted these, I didn't only think, what am I going to eat? I also thought, what are my animals going to eat? What's this? Oh. It's a pepper! Yay! I wanted to make sure my animals were fed as well. Um, and I've seen people feed them things like pumpkins and whatnot. So I planted a bunch of that stuff as well so that I can feed my animals because I don't eat pumpkins. While I was raking these glorious piles of grass around my little crop circle, I was thinking and I just wanted to say a week ago I was a programs director. I worked with elderly. Um, I did crafts. I did my exercise program. I played dominoes and cards and took them on outings and all kinds of fun things. And it was really rewarding. Uh, and then I would go home and I would sit on the couch and I would play Minecraft. I would say a few words to my husband. Um, in the summertime, I would start projects and never finish them, which drove him nuts. <laughs> but now I have this giant unfinished project. And every day I wake up at the crack of dawn and I work until the sun sets. And it's only been a week. And I'm just so thankful that it happened to me. I prayed every day for a year for this to happen. I read every book I could get my hands on, I scoured articles, and I have learned so much. And to be able to put it to use is just mind-bogglingly wonderful. While these string and electric wire stakes have served their purpose for the last couple of days, I've now upgraded to these garden spikes, super steel stake, five foot, and bird netting. Yay! So I'm going to put that around there and possibly lay out my third 50 foot raised bed. That's a hundred feet of garden right there. Couldn't find my rubber mallet, so instead I have to use my giant sledgehammer. It's virtually invisible. I discovered after staking it out that I needed a couple more stakes. Um, so I ended up with nine on my first side. I'm not finished yet. So by the time I'm finished, I will have eight stakes left. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one more stake and uh, find a way to attach it to this starting stake so that I can open and close it to get to it. But now not only dogs can't get in, but the only thing that can get in here are mice, birds, moles, and gophers. And I curved it out at the bottom to discourage digging. I'll try to dig under this and get frustrated. I learned that from a chicken coop design. So, it'll go to about three-fourths and then I have to open another roll to finish this off and then cut it off. But that's, there's enough room in there for one more garden, another outside path. Um, I still need to get more leaves. I never did finish that. I just keep gathering leaves and adding them when I can. Lord knows I put enough in the compost pile. Well, I'm about three-fourths the way finished, and I've discovered the stakes that are already driven in the ground are causing it to be floppy. Um, whereas if I feed it through the netting first and then put it in the ground, it's more tight, like back there. But up here, where the stakes were already in the ground, 
I wove it on there and it's floppy. So I'm going to have to come back and redo that. So I would suggest doing your first stake, weaving it on there, and then every stake after that, weave it on and then pound it in the ground. Because this whole wall was already driven and I just picked up the netting and wove it down. And now I have to redo it. But over there it looks great. Yay, I'm finished. Um, I've got all of it done. I had eight stakes left over like I anticipated. And I found this old clip and some wire. And I found an old fuse that I buried. So whenever I want in, I just have to squeeze my clip, pull it up, and I can get in. Yay! This is so much fun. So I turned on my sprinkler because um, there's a few posts that I would like to um, drive into the ground further, but the ground is like a solid rock. Um, so I'm watering it up the hill here. It's just the most gradual slope. So once I get it good and watered over here, I'm going to move it down there. I'm just going to move it around, get everything watered. And uh, this is just a wonderful setup. So now I can build that third garden. I got the first layer of grass. I just haven't spread it around. I'm letting it water the others. Um, I'm just taking a break because it's very, very hot. But at least we have some wind today. Orchard looking good. I still haven't decided if I'm going to move those blackberries and sand plum over there. I probably will. But I was trying to work over there and the cold water was a little too much for me. So I got a little wet, but it's okay. It feels good now that the cold part's over. But it's a pretty nice day. Breezy, sunny. Last night it tried to rain, but didn't. So I wish it did. It would have made the stake driving a lot easier.